Hey everyone, you're back with The Lawn Engineer. And if you've been watching my videos, you know how much I, I like my Simplicity region here, especially the quality of cut and the mower deck. Today, however, we're gonna talk about one thing that I've noticed that isn't ideal with this uh, mower. Now what we're gonna talk about today has to do exactly with why this cut mower cuts so well. So the back rollers here, which actually control the height of cut and ride on the ground during cutting, um, also are a bit of a barrier to transporting this mower and driving across obstacles. You can see here, we don't have much clearance from the ground to that rollers or the, the deck in general. Um, so there is a lever that we use to, to control cut free float mode where this rides on the ground and um, transport mode, but it doesn't really lift the deck that high. You can see there, we're in free float, and then we go up to transport. Here's the lever on the side of the tractor that we use to lower the deck down. That's in free float while you're cutting, and then to lower it up into the transport setting. Now I've noticed when I use this, really there's not much the lever doesn't do anything until about halfway up its stroke to lift the deck. To understand what's going on here, we need to take a look at the back of the deck. Now, because of the design of this mower, and it is designed to ride on those rollers, during cutting, there's nothing attaching the deck itself to the frame of the tractor. What is on here, if I can point out here, is two cables that are attached to that linkage on the side there, the lever, um, to pull the back of that mower, this mower deck up for transporting and for clearance. Now one of the things you can do to help increase that clearance while you're transporting is simply use your height of cut adjustment. However, you can see there, if I increase the height of cut there, it increases the the gap here between my mower deck and the ground, but now I've got my rear rollers actually engaged with the ground, which isn't ideal. And if I lower the height of cut, it picks up those rear, ro rear rollers to get clearance, but now my deck is pretty close to the ground. Now, for me, it's not a huge deal. I did have somebody in the comments mention that they're not even they bought this new machine that they're very happy with it, but they're not able to get it in, the, in their shed because of that low clearance there. So I thought, let's dig in to see if we can improve this situation. Now I've looked into this a bit, and what I noticed here is this linkage is attached to our lever here to transition from free float to transport. And I noticed that there's several holes that are not being used um, between the different linkage pieces here. So I'm gonna see if we can increase the lift from this lever and improve that clearance on the deck. To help quantify res our results, I'm going to measure our clearance to this rear roller and I'll just measure to the bottom of this, this end piece and we're at basically two inches and in, in a sixteenth of an inch. Now this is in the transport position with the height of cut at the lowest which picks up that real roller. So hopefully we can improve that. The first thing I'm going to try is the easiest and it's simply on the deck here where this these uh, tension cables attach and there's another hole position down here below. So I'm gonna remove both of these and put them at this lower hole location. So to do that, we gotta put the deck down in free float here to take tension off. We'll remove our pin, our washer, and simply put our cable on the lower position here. Now I lost my pin. Now 
Now I had to raise the height of cut up a little bit to take some tension off that. Because even in free float setting at the lowest height of cut, there was tension on that cable yet preventing me from getting that pin in. Let's go over to the other side now. Okay, we're just gonna duplicate what we did on the other side. All right, there we go. Let's see if that made any difference. So I'll put our height of cut down to the lowest and we'll go raise our deck up into transport mode. All right, just visually looking, that seems to have made quite a bit of difference. So we are up at three and a half. So that gained us um, about an inch and a half of clearance there. So I think that's a win. So if you're having trouble transporting your, your mower deck there and you don't have enough clearance between the rear rollers, I'd recommend moving those tension cables down that whole position will gain you an inch and a half. I'm not sure why my tractor came like that set up from the dealer or from the factory, um, but that's a quick way to increase that, that uh, clearance while you're in transport mode. The other thing I've noticed when actuating the deck here and putting it down into free float, um, right from the start here, I've got tension on those cables so that I'm lifting that whole way. Um, the one negative I can see with this is those cables also control the, the maximum the deck can, can articulate down during mowing conditions. So if you're cutting real, um, real short, it's not going to allow that deck to drop down into lower terrain um, while cutting. So if you see that you're missing parts in, in low spots when that deck should be flexing down, um, that might be a negative to doing this. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, um, I'll have more content on here as I come up. If, if any of you are running into issues, please comment. I'll take a look at them, see if we can, we can solve them for you. Um, thanks for watching. Adios.